faith is foundational to peace reading from scripture john chapter 16 verse 33 these things i have spoken to you that in me you may have peace in the world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer i have overcome the world faith is the only way to experience the abiding peace that the lord gives in every way and at all times it is the foundation for living in God's peace. It's that consistent, confident, active trust in His presence and power to sustain and comfort us, no matter what the affliction or circumstance may be. There are, however, certain issues that undermine our faith and rob us of our peace. It may be good for us to just understand them and consider a few. First of all, fear and doubt. We are accustomed to respond to every up and down with some form of anxiety or fear or doubt. And we forget as believers that we have a peace that God gives. These emotions of fear and doubt have a debilitating effect on our peace and it robs us of the ability to keep moving forward. The second is the attack of the enemy. We can be attacked by the enemy, the devil, in various ways and through various means so that it, he causes us doubt or worry and we lose our focus on God. But we must stand firm up to him. Scripture says we must resist the devil and when we do, he will flee from us. The third is sin. Peace and rebellion cannot coexist. So when we live a life of sin, we forfeit the peace that God has given us and thereby we lose our internal sense of peace as well. The only recourse is to confess, to repent, surrender to God and ask Him to help us in turning away and resisting all temptation. Then God's peace will begin to flow again. The fourth one is losing our focus. We can let many challenges, our day-to-day -day struggles and our day-to-day -day lives come and bombard us and cause us to lose our peace and our focus. Instead, we should become intentional of having our minds set on God, trusting Him for His peace and His presence. Because God is with us, there is no need for us to sink or need for us to give in or to come beneath our troubles. We can face, confront, deal with, challenge, and in the end, overcome every struggle that we may be going through. Jesus taught us that there will be tribulations in the world. He prepared us for that. And, but he calls us to be of good cheer because he has given us his overcoming power, which is made available to us of any situation of unrest that we are in. So his directive is not to let our hearts be troubled and our response should be to live in faith moment by moment. So let us hold on to the peace that God gives. Let us be confident that He's watching, He's directing and He's caring for us and He's looking after those who trust and love Him. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank You for Your Word that shows us that when we put our trust and our place our faith on you, you give us the peace that we need. Help us, Lord, not to focus on what is going on around us or on our sin or on our doubts or our worries. But let us look to the perfecter and author of our faith. Thank you, Father, because through this we have the peace that is, that is eternal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.